This is what I've been talking about for years as governor and before that as U.S. attorney. It is a different world. And we need to say out loud that those people who are radical, especially radical Islamic terrorists, um, need to be called out. We need to be willing to talk about it. I've got a call this morning from the President of the United States. He and I spoke as well in detail about the current status of the investigation and um, assuring him that we were doing what we needed to do here and um, he assuring me that the federal government was working through the FBI primarily and the Joint Terrorism Task Forces to try to get all the information we could to keep us safe. And so we need collectively, I think, as a, as a people to raise our voices. Well, let us remember why they're attacking us. They're attacking us for two reasons. They want to kill us, to end our way of life. That's it. It's not more complicated than that. They don't like the fact that America stands for freedom and for liberty. They don't like the fact that we defend the defenseless. They don't like the fact that we speak for human rights and equal opportunity for everybody. That's not what happens in Iran, everybody. If you're gay in Iran, you get hung by a crane in the town square and stoned. If you live in Afghanistan and you want to leave your husband or wife, you get murdered. These are societies that are attacking our way of life because they don't like what we stand for. And I believe we love what we stand for. And we gotta be willing to fight for it.